one. We'll bring up an interview with Empire and some of the questions at the top of my mind will be able to be asked. Karzeka, great to see you again. I have a feeling that we might be interviewing you a couple times. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, first question for you. The way that Mocket was attacking through those first six rounds was incredibly unpredictable. Sometimes they would just go for broke and push on in, and other times they took a little bit longer. The very first round, they literally blitzed the site and got the plant down and beat you. In the second round, you answered it very successfully and stopped them. Between that first and second round, what goes through your mind and how does your team change up their defense to predict what Mocket is going to do and shut them down effectively? I mean, uh, we haven't practiced against uh, this kind of combo like Ink, uh, Dokoyebi and uh, and Blitz for a long time. But uh, after the first round, uh, we were like, okay, we practiced with uh, Moki before, so we kind of knew that they did the same on the scrim. So the second way after they, they won the first one, they just changed their uh, site of attack and we, we were just ready for that. So we just kind of knew that going to happen and we just knew what to do there. Now, you also traded off uh, Joystick from the Jackal over to the IQ. It was something that our colleagues were a little critical of in, in previous matches, saying that the Jackal wasn't really working out. And while well, Joystick didn't need to carry the team today because both you and Shockwave had incredible contributions, was the IQ pick for Joystick more to allow him to frag better? Was it simply because you figured that you needed the IQ for her gadget? What was the thought process behind that? I mean, we wanted to bring IQ. We kind of didn't need uh, smoke, so we just uh, went with IQ. I guess it was a good pick, but uh, I guess Joystick didn't feel well enough on IQ. He wasn't playing that for a long time, so uh, I think it will be okay in the future. We will work on that. <laughs> and uh, last question for you here. Every single attack, you came from the office side toward archives. You never attacked Armory. Were you surprised that Mocket didn't protect offices more or even better? And furthermore, why only go through offices every time? Why not attack Armory or CCTV? Uh, I mean, office, in our opinion, in this is the strongest uh, point of the map to work around. So uh, every time we attack from office, but we have some strats from the CCTV as well. But uh, we're still going with the office if we have a, if we have a chance to go for it. And uh, it's easy for us to work around office, so we kind of always go there. So why, I don't even know what to say anymore. <laughs> why, uh, why show strats for CCTV and Armory when you know that you still have the six invitational qualifiers coming up where you can use your strats to guarantee your spot in Montreal, right? So yep. uh, congratulations once again. A massive victory. You now sit alone in first place in Europe. Pretty good, uh, pretty good climb after coming in from Challenger League. Anything to say to your fans, the viewers, your org sponsors, etc. at the end of this interview? Yeah, thanks a lot for the support. We appreciate it uh, very much. And thanks to Team Empire for providing us a perfect boot camp. Yeah, that's it. Good luck in your matches have this good, weekend as well. Have a good well. night. Absolutely. Yeah. Good luck this uh, good luck this weekend. So, I don't know if he lost us there at the end, but we're back. I, uh, we're back. We that's the we're back here. Hello. Hello. So that was a really well fought match from both teams, both yeah. Rocket and Empire. But Empire definitely deserved to get the win in the.